One Midland man is taking aim at the top seat in the Midland County DA's office. If he wins, Kyle McCardle won't have to move his office too far. He's currently one of the assistant DA's and the trial chief for the 441st District Court. Following his campaign announcement yesterday, our own Hannah Brock sat down with McCardle to discuss his main points and his goals as he runs for office. She has the story, Hannah. McCardle wants to increase transparency, gain trust, and educate the public about the DA's office. He says the last eight years working in the courthouse will help him do that. It just feels like the next step, and I feel like all my experience leading up to now has been leading me towards that office. Since moving here with his wife of 13 years, McCardle has worked up from the misdemeanor division at the Midland County Courthouse to felonies to a management role as trial chief. He says that helps him identify what works for the court and what needs to change. He wants to take aim at violent crime among young people and increase public trust in the district attorney's office. You know, law enforcement, prosecutor's offices across the country um, are facing and kind of a loss, loss of trust uh, with the community, and Midland's no different. Um, it's reestablishing that trust, and, I, and personally, I think it needs to be more of a proactive approach. You know, there needs to be more transparency. Um, we need to kind of be proactive about that and kind of answer the questions the community has before they have to ask them. He says he's not afraid to shake things up. I'm also not really beholden to traditions. There's a lot of, you know, traditionally how how prosecutors have done stuff since you know, the beginning of the legal field, and I'm always questioning why, why is it done that way? How can we do it better? He wants to bring the Midland community into the courtroom through a Citizens Academy to learn about prosecutors. He'd also like to be more accessible to citizens, like using social media to keep the public in the loop. His colleague and former supervisor, Lacey Holloman, says he's a trusted figure in the office. He knows what he's doing. He has, you know, eight plus years of experience. He's who I go to if I want to bounce ideas off in the office. Holloman also emphasized his care for Midland. And so I think having that servant leadership mentality as the DA is going to serve Midland as a whole. McCardle is asking for support in the March 5th election. The current DA Laura Nodoff will not seek re-election. McCardle is up against Glenn Harwood and we'll bring you the details from a sit-down interview with him on Monday night be sure to join us. For CBS 7 First Alert News, I'm Hannah Brock.